Hello folks, it's Anita Rao and I wanted to speak about something a bit lighter today, um, more fun. Uh, I think we've been too serious recently because there's just so much going on and um, we're all hearing all the sort of the negative news and the doom and gloom. So I thought um, let me do a series of something a bit more fun, a bit more light, and um, I'm going to do this over the next few days and I'll, I'll sort of po post it one by one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each nakshatra, all 27 of them, and I'm going to talk about compatibility for each of them. Yeah. Um, we all know relationship compatibility is um, is a very popular topic and it's much more complex than just looking at the moon placement but the moon placement and more importantly the nakshatra placement of the moon is the key to understanding compatibility so um, first I'm gonna just uh, talk a little bit about what um, what is what is a nakshatra for, for those who are new to Vedic astrology um, uh, the, the heart of uh, Vedic astrology is, is in fact uh, nakshatras. Originally Jyotish was focused um, on nakshatras only, which is the movement of, of, of the moon through the, the, through the constellations, um, rather than uh, the sign, which is the movement of the sun. Nakshatra is basically a fixed star constellation in the sky. Where the planets are transiting, I would I would describe it um, I would describe nakshatras as a passive, but potent force, which need the planets to activate them. Yeah, um, so it's vital to note the nakshatra placement, as this will reveal the inner motivation and the attributes of the planets that reside there or transit there. In fact, the calculations and predictions in Vedic astrology are made from the vantage point of the moon transiting a specific nakshatra at the time of your birth. The controlling planet of the nakshatra must be seen for its impact, as well as the deity that rules the nakshatra to assess the entire situation and to see what's going on. Okay, so... Um, Back to the topic at hand, um, uh, we're going to look at nakshatra compatibility and see your best match from your moon sign. If you don't know where your moon was situated when you were born, then you can go to the chart calculator on my website, which is there for free, and you plug in your details. It should pop up with your moon's nakshatra. Remember, this is the sidereal system, so it may place your moon in a different sign altogether from the tropical or the western placement. Um, and for those who are watching all of the nakshatra videos, um, um, uh, please note that this little intro will be repeated in, in all of the videos. Um, yeah, one, final, um, uh, one more final thing I wanted to say about compatibility is that when it comes to uh, looking for a match, this is just sort of a common sense thing, I guess, but it's, it's very important. Uh, please uh, see uh, goodness where it lies, uh, rather than hoping for goodness where it does not exist. Yeah? Um, we're, we're, we're all guilty of, of being with people that are not good to us, um, or for us, um, in the hopes that they will be someday. So just don't ca get caught up in that illusion. Yeah? Um, astrology can, uh, remember, astrology can only guide us, but we make the final call. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started with the nakshatra compatibility videos. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about Anuradha now. Right, now your ideal partner is Jaista, and your most challenging partner is Chitra. Anuradha and Ashwini. Ashwini um, make good partners for you as long as you don't make the mistake of 
clinging to them too much. And they need to feel free. And this doesn't mean that they don't love you. They're passionate and carefree, so um, their expression of love is quite different from yours. They're not romantic with words, but by being with you, that's how they're showing their love. Anuradha and um, Bharani. Now, this is your spiritually complex relationship. Bharani wants passion and you want love. Both of you can mistake one for the other. You feel insecure with them, and this makes you feel restless. Talk to them about your feelings and how they can appear to be uncaring around you. Anuradha and uh, Krithika, uh, powerful and dynamic. Krithika have a strong pull for you. They're the strong and silent type. Their ability to protect you makes you love them even more. They envelop you in their warmth and you feel your defenses melting. Be careful you're not building up too many expectations. Anuradha and uh, Rohini, you aspire to divine love and Rohini seeks self-realization through love. A perfect combination. Both can fulfill each other's need for romance and a love so sublime that others can only fantasize about. Rohini's passionate love brings out the best in you. Anuradha and uh, Rikshara. Your relationship with Rikshara can be frustrating. They refuse to accept your love without questioning it at every single stage. They make you put up, uh, put your, uh, put up your defenses really fast. Um, you usually live in the hope that your um, Rikshara lover will change and become more like the love that you want. Never mistake the need for sex as a need for love. So this is a tricky one. Okay, um, Anuradha and um, Ardhra. Um, your attraction to Ardhra is usually a slightly fearful fascination, but the romantic in you thinks it will turn out right in the end. Ardhra's inability to combine sex with softly spoken words of love makes you feel very unloved. They may try to dominate or control you and can dash your hopes in the process. It's a challenging one. Anuradha and Punarvasu. You enjoy Punarvasu's ability to be everywhere all the time and mostly you're happy to wait for them. In a way, both of you have something vital to give each other. Punarvasu expands your horizons far beyond where you usually venture, and you give them stability in their life by loving them selflessly. Anuradha and um, Pushya. Um, so Saturn rules both Pushya and Anuradha. You can be inflexible about your search for uh, divine love. Uh, Pushya are afraid to be enveloped so completely by emotions and will keep a strict control over their feelings. And teach them about love and help them deal with their emotions. Then you can hope to make this relationship work. Anuradha and Ashlisha. Ashlisha hate complications. And of course, love usually involves passion, possessiveness, and complex emotions. They shy away from this. Your, your lifeblood is love. How do you overcome this? By keeping the relationship simple and uncomplicated to start with. Don't put the burden of your emotional expectations on their shoulders. Anuradha and uh, Magha, you have different outlooks on life, worth, work ethics, and romantic needs. Uh, you can be cool and Magha can be very warm, but together there's an alchemy that defies convention. You care for Magha, love them, cherish them, and their warmth adds sparkle to your life. Anuradha and uh, Purva Falguni. Uh, Purva Falguni are fun, social, witty, charming, creative. Um, so loving them can be a very wonderful experience for you. Your main challenge, of course, is dealing with your expectations of each other. Um, you want them to forget everyone else and just focus on your needs. And they want you to go out and be a bit more social and forget about your work. Anuradha and Uthra Falguni. Although you have different priorities in life, together you make something quite beautiful. Uthra Falguni return your love so completely that you feel fulfilled. They support your dreams and they support your ambitions. Although they may not be talkative and demonstrative about it, um, you're confident about their love. Anuradha and Hasta. Hasta are good partners for you. Attractive, sophisticated, but also very emotional and intuitive. Both of you are practical and ambitious. Um, your unconditional love helps them overcome their insecurities and they love you back in return so you can become their anchor. Anuradha and uh, Chitra. This relationship is tough. 
challenging and it can also be frustrating. Um, Chitra may appear uh, glamorous and different to start with, but their habit of um, challenging you at every step of the way and fighting to establish their every point becomes troublesome after a while. Anuradha and Swati. Uh, Swati are pragmatic. Uh, they're never able to become what you desire and love you in the way that you want. You should not expect all your fantasies to become a reality in this relationship. Anuradha and Vishaka. This is the meeting of two opposing forces. You are cautious and Vishaka are expensive. Together you can make a splendid partnership. Love should not put barriers. Love should not put up barriers in your life. So if you can deal with that, it's a good, good relationship. Anuradha with another Anuradha. Both of you want the same thing. Solid, successful lives for the world to see and the emotional, spiritual, and idealistic love to complete the inner you. So who better to understand than another Anuradha? No words are necessary here. This is a good one. Anuradha and Jaista. Sexy, passionate, sensuous Jaista is your best partner. They fulfill your desires for love and emotional satisfaction. Although Jaista usually do not have time for emotions, with you they can be patient and quite loving. You find your ideal. Love is divine and flourishes under mutual, uh, under, uh, mutual uh, nourishment. So this is a really good relationship for you. Um, Anuradha and Mula. Mula can um, destroy some of your illusions about love and romance. Um, you think they offer true love, but they're unable to fulfill your desires. Uh, so you may be reading too much into a lighthearted um, flirtation by their, by their end. Um, they're also your worst sexual relationship and they can also be very aggressive towards you. Um, they can dump their anger on you and make you um, very unhappy. So, not a good one. Anuradha and uh, Purvashada. You are all for their charm, their creativity, and their ability to enjoy life and be unconventional at the same time. But you may be falling for an image here. Be realistic and develop a friendship first and see how it goes. They may never be what you want them to be. Anuradha and Uthrashada. You know that you love Uthrashada more than they uh, do you, uh, but you sense their loneliness and you understand their need for love and emotional security. You wish that they could be more demonstrative, um, be, uh, so you, you aspire to be uh, their uh, um, uh, spiritual wisdom. It's a good relationship. Uh, Anuradha and Shravan. You love the lunar radiance of, uh, of, of Shravan. And you endeavor to find realization through them. Uh, Shravan are usually um, happy to respond to you. You gel on a spiritual, emotional, and physical level as well. Anuradha and um, Dhanishtha. Um, so Dhanishtha represents your spiritual longings. Um, you can fall in love with them and um, feel um, sort of a, a divine ecstasy uh, where you don't think about reality. Um, you start living in an imaginary world and um, they may not be able to deal with your needs um, sensitively. So you can get hurt and your illusions can all get shattered very quickly. So Anuradha and um, uh, Shatavisha. Um, they can be elusive with you, um, never there when you want them, making promises that they're not always able to keep and um, and then also keeping secrets from you. You have to encourage them to talk about love and feelings as you try to cross the hard barriers that they have put in front of their heart. Love them and cherish them, but be realistic about the relationship. Anuradha and uh, Purva Padrapada. You fall for the generous and warm Purva Padrapada. They're very different from you. They're confident, they're strong. They allow you to be in charge of the relationship as well. Um, sometimes it can weigh too heavily in favor of them, so, uh, or, uh, or at least that's what your friends may tell you, but you remain happy as long as you know that, that, that they love you back. Anuradha and Uthra uh, Padrapada, both of you hide your emotional needs behind a mask of practicality. Uh, a Saturn b gives both of you the ability to bear a lot of pain. Yeah, don't just accept the difficulties, work to improve them. Well, um, they, will, um, they, they will move or, or, or live alone if the relationship doesn't work out. You find it hard to give up on their love. So make an effort here. Anuradha and uh, Ravithi. Um, Ravithi makes you feel whole again. 
um, you no longer have to live your life in polarities. Um, they're the divine love you are seeking and they want to be as much as part of you as you want to be a part of them. Together you can live in a cocoon of love and happiness. Um, you can be their support while they are your vision of true love. So this is a good one.